Dream Home Challenge, episode nine here, guys. So I stopped off at one yard sale that I designated would be for the Dream Home Challenge on Saturday. And then the rest of the sourcing is going to be on Labor Day and the day after that. So let's get into it, see what I find. A nest. Look, that's cool. <laughs> These families can get. Oh, that's two dollars. That's a guess. The color scheme, so this is pink is 15. So you know, though, it's cool. 15 is a little off. Yeah, and steel head, but still. Oh, I don't know what you want on that. Yeah, so that's a dollar for okay. this for. Um, two. Two, yep. So that's ten there. I don't know. How much, how much is it worth for it to you? I mean, because I know there's a bunch of random for games. For like 20 bucks on it? Okay. Yep, All right, that works. That works. So 30 total? Yeah, do you have any more games? No, that's it. Um, any more golf clubs? Um, Which is ironic. Those are the two things I always ask for. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, whenever I go to sales, I'm like, do you have golf clubs? Okay. And no, yeah. <laughs> video games? Everything over there is what I have. So. That the, the base, base doesn't work. It's uh, been refurbished once, so it's just the accessories with it. That 30 for awesome. you. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. I don't know how, but I messed up the first few seconds, I guess, of filming the game recap here. I was in such a hurry when I was at that yard sale because I was trying to get back to edit Saturday's video that I'd even look at the game. So it was a blind offer. So we're gonna go through them and see what we actually have here for $20. Super Mario World right there. We got Spider-Man. Flushed Away, which is some DreamWorks game. Rayman Advance. Mystery Game Boy Color game. Kim Possible Labelless. We got Attack of the Toy Bots. Another mystery game. I can't see what it says. Ashley's Sweet 16. Got yeah, Hot Wheels, Stunt Track Racer, Uno, Madagascar, Hot Wheels, Over the Head, Ratatouille, Blank Labelless, Scooby Doo and Scooby Doo 2, Combo Pack there, two games in one, pretty good deal. Ice Age 2. Incredibles and Nemo, Ruby Games, uh, Dora episode for Game Boy Advance video, Monsters Inc., Powder Puff, Star Wars episode 2, Meet the Robinsons, Labelless, In the Wild. So it's not like incredible stuff here or anything, guys, but I mean, for 20 bucks, not bad. It's half off day of Valley and the whole parking lot's full. So I started to look around at Valley and honestly, the line was too long for me to wait. So I just went ahead and left. And being Labor Day, Goodwill's opened late. So I ended up coming back around to this one. I saw these Barbie cars here and 
they're actually not really worth all of that much and they're kind of a lawn for shipping so they would have to go ups i end up passing on these i could have got them they did have some condition issues they were definitely priced right and the every drop here i do grab this it is missing the actual filter so whoever i sell that to will have to buy the filter so i don't think i'll get exactly what the comp is on the screen here i'll have to account for that a little bit probably not the greatest pickup but not a big deal i do buy this bacon wave it is pre-owned at a dollar 99 and i think if it was any more than that since it's 20 dollars shipped i would have passed but at that price i could make a play on it I grabbed this well built. I'm only going to part out the pan and paddle probably. I don't know. The regular units don't seem to be selling all that great. And on this trip, I end up spending a total of $13.94 on everything. So it's the next day, guys, and I'm going to head into the same Goodwill store here and see what I can find to list online. So this is a Fire King dish right here. And unfortunately, the sell through on that dish is terrible. So I do end up having to put that back. And this is a similar mixing bowl here. And I do end up having to put that back as well, even though it did comp a little better and have better sell through. Just really not worth the time to try to pack and ship that. This lady kindly hands me the Seth Thomas clock here. Really good brand to look out for on the slightly bigger mantle clocks and bigger marble clocks. This one had a crack in the marble, and with the condition, I pick it up for $3.99, but I'm not going to set the world on fire with it or anything. And uh, this is like a little, uh, I, I think it's like a novelty ashtray here, like a tourist one from back in the day. I do pick that up for $0.99, cents. and here we have a Space Maker under cabinet coffee pot here, and I'm hoping to get about $50, $60 for this one if it works, if it doesn't. I'll probably part it out instead of taking the time to return it. And with that, I go ahead and spend just a little under $13 on everything. Bit of a slowdown on sales. So between doing the Columbus road trip a couple weeks ago and just everything else we have going on, I've been filming some other projects for the channel as well. We just haven't gotten as much of the stuff listed as we need to. So that's something we're going to be working on this week. But here we go for the four sales that we did have. We sold the columbia electronic holy bible for 24.95 and then we sold the bebop teenage mutant ninja turtles action figure and we sold that for 21.99 we did sell the jurassic park velociraptor figure for 12.99 and we sold the super mario world game boy advance game that you saw in the beginning there and we sold that for 19 99. So I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Give me any feedback down below. I do want to start hitting the gas a little bit more on this challenge. So we've had a lot going on in our lives as normal. And we're trying to maintain the normal flow of business while also doing this. So it's a lot, especially with all the videos and stuff uh, being produced as well. So I really do want to start putting more emphasis on getting out there and getting more stuff and getting it listed so that we can actually start seeing the role of money happen and hit our goal. So if you enjoyed today's video and you haven't caught up on all of them yet, I've got a playlist right here for you guys. And right here, check out this video if you're already caught up. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.